what's up guys this is network ninja here i am back again with another video today we are going to see how to stack two alcatel switches together here i got two alcatel lucent 6450 24x switches i also got two stacking module os 6450 xni u2 some stacking cables a laptop and a console cable to console into the switch this is the standard debian connector that comes with the switch i have a separate video on how to console to a switch if you haven't checked that video yet i will link it in the i button Ok, now I will install the stacking module to both the switches. This is how a stacking module looks like. It has two ports, stack A slash X1 and stack B slash X2. Okay, I have finished the stacking module installation. Now I will power on both the switches. Let's get to the laptop. I am connected using a console port to switch number 2. Here I will be changing the chassis ID of switch number 2 to 2. By default both switches comes with a chassis ID of 1. I will log into the switch with the default username and password admin switch. And then I am going to enter the command stack set slot 1 saved slot 2 reload. This will change the chassis ID of second switch to number 2. Once you execute this command, the switch will reboot. As you can see, on the right hand side, second switch came up with a chassis ID of number 2. We will log back to the switch number 2 and check the interface status. As you can see, the slot number changed to number 2 for all the ports. At this point, I am ready to connect the stacking cables to the stacking modules. Keep in mind that you have to cross connect the stacking ports. So stack port A from switch 1 connects to stack port B from switch 2 and vice versa. Once you connect the stacking cables to the switches, the switches will go through the master and slave election process. In this case, switch number 2 will act as a slave and it will reboot. At this point, I am connecting the second stacking cable. This is just for redundancy purpose if something happens to the first stacking cable. As you can see, the switch number 2 is going through a reboot. And it has detected the stack port A and B. I will move my console port to switch number 1. As switch number 1 is a master switch, there is a limitation to run few commands on the slave switch so I always prefer to run my commands from the master switch. I will log into switch number 1. To check this topology status, I will run the command show stack topology. As you can see, I am seeing switch number 1 and switch number 2 as a part of a stack. That's it. This is how you stack two Alcatel switches together. You can stack up to 6 switches in one virtual chassis using the same process make sure you change your slot number or chassis id depending on the number of switches in your stack if you like this video don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this youtube channel i will see you in the next one till then bye bye